Oh, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. And if you are new here, this is going to be a great episode, so you better stick around till the end. I'm going to jump right into this by doing an unrecord gameplay showing thing, because I know that some of you have not seen this yet, and it is an epic, an epic journey. Let's Let's take a look. Look at how real this looks. That is that is so real. Shots fired. Shots fired. How did he get the graphics this good? That looks like a real cement wall. Lighting. That looked like an animation, that, that door kick, just saying. What is that? Is that a is that like a is that a drone? That's what it looked like. Nice, put like eight holes in them. That's perfect. On that last scene, did you hear like the gun, the shells from the bullets hitting the ground. That sounded so realistic. The echo and everything. This is going to be a very immersive game. I can assure you of that. Where the fuck is Oscar? Damn. If you guys are enjoying this part of the podcast, please drop a like for me. So that we can get this podcast out to the most available audience possible. We can bring you guys the best games possible. It does help grow the channel. It does help these videos get out to more people. Thank you very much and please enjoy the rest of the podcast. So, if you don't know what this game is called, it's called Unrecorded, okay? Sorry, Unrecord. And it's made by the studio, it looks like Drama. Now, if you have not subscribed to this channel right here, please do so. Drama slash Unrecord. Go, go go subscribe to them. This is this this game is the most realistic game I have ever seen. Now that is true and that's a fact. Like there, there is no doubt in my mind that is a fact. You are stupid if you think that's not the case. All right. This people were arguing that this game was real life. They were arguing that this was real life. Because Everything sounds so perfect. <clears throat> the guy, his movements, that looks like a that looks like a body cam. It looks like a real life body cam. And the reason why it has the little I don't know if you noticed in the video, but it has like the little tapered kind of I don't know what they're called. It's like tapered edges almost on the corners. That's like a real body cam. That's like because it's the camera has the shirt around it like it, it, that's real like that's what it looks like i wonder how many hours of body cam footage this this guy studied i legit i wonder how many hours this guy studied of body cam because that this feels so real and the fact that the fact that like the 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 um i think that might be a usp pistol it looks like the usp pistol is like it's it just perfectly cocked you can take the mag out put it back in you're counting rounds within the mag which is real if you take a real mag and you look at the side of it they have holes in it to show you how much bullets you have in it that's what he was doing in that one scene and then when he calls for dispatch like that's insane calling for dispatch 
dude, shots fired, shots fired. That's real. Like that sounds real too. With the with the with the radio static and everything. I, I just I'm curious to know. I mean, this is obviously like a this is like a demo level. So they probably worked a good amount on this. <coughs> I mean, we're farther right now than we than we have ever been on uh, the day before, just FYI, on this game. And this guy's been making this game for, I think, three years now, I believe. I don't know if it's a guy or if it's a studio. I'm pretty sure it's just, like, one or two developers, maybe three, possibly. But the whole scene, too, you know, the funny thing is the environment. The environment that the level is set in is so realistic as far as maybe, like, a drug cartel or, or something along those lines. Like, these guys make bases in places like, like, like this. And the fact, I guess... I don't know if this is VR or not. I, I didn't read too much into it. Like, I I have done a little bit of research on, on this, and I'm pretty sure it is a VR game, and I think that's really mainly what it's built in because it's more immersive. But, like, this is, this is probably one of the best games that I've seen in such a long time. And if you're looking for realistic gameplay, like, if you're looking for realistic military shooter gameplay, like, this is your place. This is your, this is your place to go, 100%. And drama, I feel like, is going to create a very, very well-rounded game around this topic. Now, this is a police officer, and again, that's why I also say it's kind of, it's pretty realistic. Is he's going in? He's trying to like, I guess, maybe stop them from whatever. This could also be like a rogue mission. You know, he's calling dispatch. I don't know if that's supposed to be real or whatever. I mean, again, maybe I'm reading too much into the story, but I feel like it's more of like a, um, it's more of them kind of telling a story from a cost perspective, but it could be like a rogue mission that he's going on trying to like stop certain people, which is also why in the end he's like, you know, where's, I forgot the guy's name already. Um, you know, and the, the story might wrap around that of him being like a rogue or some kind of like cop that's, you know, going outside of normal missions. The dispatch thing might've just been like a, a place that they they think that there's more people coming, you know what I mean? Uh, but in reality, it's just him. Um, the the one thing I do want to say, animations are great. The one animation that's not so great is that you kind of notice, especially you know, from a game developer eye, from a game a gamer's eye, like I could tell that that kick wasn't realistic. So there's very little detail that you could tell that this is not that this is not real life. One of them is the kick the kick at the door was so animated like that was that felt animated and plus the funny thing was was that he did it once and the door didn't go open right which that kind of could be realistic but in reality if you're kicking a metal door like that open it's gonna like pretty much go by it go pretty much kick over anything unless there's something of like force behind it which there wasn't um, so that was something that was like maybe a glitch or whatever in, in, in that. And they just kind of rolled with it. But the second kick looked animated. It looked like it was actually, it was not supposed to, it, it looked the exact same. That, that's the reason why too. Like it's hard to kick the exact same way in real life. Like it's hard to kick or punch the exact same way that you just did unless you've practiced it many times. And yes, maybe you know your argument is, oh yeah, this is he's a police officer. They do this kind of kind of training all all the time. But at the end of the day, dude, like, no, you're not gonna be able to kick that door the exact same way. That's what made it for me feel like a game. Like I knew it was a game because I saw him kick once, and I was like, okay. And I saw him kick, and he like kind of like lined himself up again, and he and then he went to go kicking, and it was the exact same kick. And I'm like, that's. That's animated. Like, there's no way you can have the exact same kick, the exact same way, in the exact same spot, you know, more than once. Um, especially in the exact same spot. Like, it's it's hard in real life to, like, aim to the same spot you just kicked. You know what I mean? And there, there's little stuff. Like, if you, notice the, if you notice the kick, like, he definitely has had, he definitely has, like, concrete dust on, on, on his foot. He has dirt on his foot, like on his boot and shit. Like, there's no way that that door does not have like a like a a um a a footprint on it. There's no way. Even no matter how how hard you kick it, like there's gonna be like some kind of residue or footprint on on that on that door. And uh, that's that's another reason why I was like that seems kind of you know that's not really realistic. So that to me again, that's the attention to detail that I have. That I'm like, this can't be real. This is not a real game. This is something where. You know, they made it, it's a game, or I mean, not real, it's not real life, it, it's, just, it's just a game. So, that that's one of the things that I picked up on. 
Everything else is pretty good, though. Like, the only other thing that was weird was that drone thing. I don't know if you know what the hell that was. Where it was like, brrr, and, like, hit something, and then... I thought it was, like, a grenade or something. I thought it was, like, some kind of, like, smart grenade. And I was like, what the fuck? But I think it might have been, like, a drone or something. I'm not really sure. Um, it, like, smashed into something and just hit the ground. That was... I was... I was... I'm so curious about that as far as, like, what the hell that actually is. You know? And... Also, the way that people hold, like, the the way that people in the trailer hold their hands up, like, not many people will hold their hands up, like, together like this. Like, 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 not many people will do that. That, that's not a, that's not, that's not a real thing. Like, not many people will do this with their hands. They'll, they'll usually do this or like this. Like, they're, they're usually about head level. Not many people like to go above their, their head unless they're instructed to. So, that's another thing to keep in mind, too is the characters are very animated. Like, you can tell that they're not really real people because, again, like, this is something that we don't normally do as humans. This isn't comfortable. This is something that we do like this, you know? So, another detail to kind of pick up on that it's not... It's it's, it's an actual game. It's animated, and the characters aren't actually real people. Um, I, I guess it's really supposed to be graphic, too. Um, I, I mean, I guess they blurred out a couple things in the trailer as well. They blurred out a couple of faces. I, I mean, I wanted to see that shit. I wanted to see how actual, actually real it is. But the, the other reason why I think that people um, thought that it was a real thing. Actually, let me let me come back to that. I, I was gonna I was gonna talk about the body cam again, but let's let, let's talk about the the realism in, in, in this and, and the like the shooting him in the face and then blurring it out. I wanted to see that shit. I wanted to actually see how real it was. You know and. Uh, the other thing I, I guess I really didn't no notice it, the way the bodies flop actually looks real. That's one thing that's like kind of real. Um, the way that the body, I mean, again, it's still there's debate out for, for for that. I mean, I've never shot anyone, obviously, so I, I I don't know like what that looks like in real life. But if you ever watch like body cam footage, if you ever actually watch people getting shot, uh, which I'm not a psychopath, I don't actually like doing that in my spare time. Just FYI. Um. You can actually, you can kind of tell that, like, it's, it, it looks fake, but it's also pretty real. Like, especially the guy that he takes out next to the truck, that scene, that was, that shit was crazy. Like, that looked real. When he shot him, like, six times, and the guy just kind of flopped over to the side with his arm over like this, to, like, that, that looked real. That, to me, looked real. That was crazy. Um... What else can I really say? I think that's really it, it on that. But the, the other reason why I think people actually thought it was real, because body cam footage in reality is hard to see detail. It's it's hard to see a lot of detail. They're not very, like, they're probably HD cameras, but they're not, like, super HD. So, like, it's not like you're in a, like, it doesn't feel like you're in a game because it's like a square, you know, or rectangular, I, I should say, rectangular view with, uh you know, the best graphics on your PC possible. Like, if it looks real to people because... One, if you're not a gamer. Two, the other thing is, is uh, the body cam makes it look real, and this like the suppression al almost makes it feel real. Even though in re in real life, you like you don't actually get suppressed. Like your body might actually just produce that kind of blur because your adrenaline's pump pumping so so fast. I I've never had that before. I've never had my adrenaline pump that fast before. But I I kind of do see like the. The realism with that. And again, it's, it's a body cam, so that really doesn't, you know, <laughs> you're not, like, in the body cam, you're not going to, you're like, the body cam's not going to show, you know, like, adrenaline rushing on, like, the cop. But my, my point is, is that, like, it makes you feel more immersive, especially for a player, because then you have the suppression. Like, it, it, if you've been in that situation before, or if you've been, like, a very high, intense situation, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be a gunfight. It could be, you know, public speaking. It could be, um, you know, you, you, um you know, in a, a, doing like, you know, some kind of sports or whatever, you, you, you kind of like start to get like a tunnel vision and you start to like kind of blur everything around you and you start to kind of just, you just go into it. So that's kind of what the, what the mechanic is here. And it, it does make it feel way more immersive, which I think is the reason why people, um, thought it was, you know, real life. But that's the one thing too, that you have to pick up on in real life. Like the body cam's not going to show like a blurred edge. Because of adrenaline, you know what I mean. It, that's something that they should, that people should have picked up on too. It's like it's it's an effect on the camera to kind of make it so that you feel like you're in, like you're in the situation, like you're in the shit. You know, especially if you, especially if you're getting shot at. So, um, there is actually um, there is actually a thing that I want to. I, I actually want to see if I could find it on Twitter. Um, because 
on Twitter, apparently, people were so many people were saying that that it was fake. Um, and people were saying people were saying that it was that it was that it was fake, and they the I think it was the what the hell was it the um what, what was his name the 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 CEO or something, um. The CEO or something like like that was like showed the showed us like him messing around in like the actual thing. Like, see, it. oh yeah, so a- Alexander Splinter here, he's showing. Oh, is there sound? There is sound. Okay, he's showing like the guy messing around in in the engine. So this is this is a real game. Like this is real. This is a real thing. I just I'm just curious on how he made it look so real. I mean the, the textures are insane. Yeah. But like it's not like it's not pre recorded like uh the day before was. It's real. Like this is the real shit. So that that's something to keep in mind. You know, that that is legitimately real. That that is something that we are going to see in the future. And you know, the fact that it's not pre-recorded is even amazing to me. I mean, I wonder how what the specs are to run this game are going to be. Like, they're probably going to you're probably gonna have to need you're going to need like a real life human body made out of AI to like to run this game. I actually it may not be that bad. You know, you don't you don't you know what it is. A lot of it is probably texturing. It's pro it's a lot of it's probably texturing. There's probably a lot of he probably has really good, very very good texture artists. That probably um, have gone through this and really textured every everything properly, because a lot of games that look really good are textured really well. That's the thing. A lot of games are the they keep things low poly for reasons that your computer can run it, but I think the textures on it are probably super 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 detailed, which could also cause problems in the future. But it depends. It depends on how big the maps are going to be. But I again, I, I don't really know the. Um, the, the, I, I want to say context of this game. We don't, we don't know yet. It, this, this could be a, you know, a, it could be like a first, not first person. Um, I, I, I want to say it could be like a storyline mostly. It may not be like a multiplayer thing. I think multiplayer might take too much time for for, for, for these guys. But the storyline will definitely be worth it. Something, something tells me that this is going to be a huge hit for a lot of people. And that's a good thing. Unrecord might be like a realistic military shooter at, at one point. These guys might actually have a real application for this. Not just for now, but for, but for future as well. I mean, at the end of the day, man, like, <laughs> I know, I'm going to be that guy. But I could definitely see you playing zombies on this shit, bro. Like, you know how crazy zombies would be on this? Especially if it's in VR. That would be insane. Imagine zombies. Imagine, like, aliens or something. Like, imagine these crazy, crazy applications for this. I mean, that's also where where, where my mind goes. I, I like, I'm, I'm just, I'm excited by what where this can go. Like, I I mean I might even just buy a VR headset just just to just to freaking get this just to get this game if if it's not just for you know PC or Steam I mean it's on Steam I I know I, I know that much but I but I could have sworn that that it was a VR game but I, I might be wrong um I mean this is gonna take definitely a lot of time I mean the, I I don't again I don't really know the full application of this they might have like a campaign built into this this might be like the very that might be the very first kind of wave where they just push out like maybe a couple maps with some detailed settings and then like a campaign where like you have to be the, you're the cop and then again like I was saying before you're rogue and you're kind of going to go find stuff and whatever else but um yeah for an, for an insight in this gameplay I, I'm gonna be honest this this looks real like this is there's no doubt about that this this is this if you don't know what if you don't play video games this is real. Like even when I first saw it I had to like I had to kind of analyze it for a second. My first time through it looked real 100%. But then as I said I I, I went through it multiple times and I saw it and I was like the hands going up, 
the animations of like you know you running. I mean, even even the hop over the um, the hop over the the I, I want to say like dresser or something that was laying down in the middle of the hallway at the beginning of, of the video that even looked kind kind of fake because it was like nobody really does that. You're either gonna clear it with one hand. Like, you're going to jump over it with one hand, or you're just going to clear it and jump over You're not going to, like, jump with your hands in front of you. Not many people jump like like like, like that. Unless you're uh, unless you're jumping over a fence, you're not really jumping with your hands out in front of you. Like, unless you're going to do, like, a somersault forward and, like, land on your feet. Not many people jump like that. I mean, if you jump like that, l let me know in the comments below. But I, I, I've never jumped like that. The only time I've jumped like that was whenever I was jumping over a fence. And that was, that was not even that. Like, I could... I could jump over the fence, grab the top of the fence, jump over it, and put my legs to my left or to my right, mostly because I'm right-handed, to my right. So I, I, I would hop up like that, and then I would I would hop over the fence. But, like, that was kind of an unrealistic way of jumping over that dresser or whatever the hell it was. But, I mean, even the cinder blocks in this, like, go go back and watch the video multiple times. Even the cinder blocks look real. Like, it looks, it looks real. It's crazy. So... I'm trying to think of what else may, maybe there might be to analyze in this because, I mean, the 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 metal on the railing looks real. The the like the wooden pallets, the wooden, uh, anything wooden looks real. The place is trashed. It's got like it's got concrete just laying around everywhere, like concrete pieces that looks real. Um, the wooden desk in the office in the end looks so real. It looks like a it looks like a freaking oak desk with that's just been through a shit storm. Like it's it's got like little nooks and like little like um like bubbles in in the in the the wood from being like probably in moisture for too long. It's got like it's got nicks in it. That's crazy. But again, as I said, I I think it's I think this is mostly texturing. Like if you look really close, you can kind of see on, on the ground that like there's like papers and stuff like that and debris. A lot of that probably isn't actually stuff. That's probably just texturing. Because like especially in the office, if you go if you go to the office part and you look at it, um the office part. So the office part is right here. So if you see it and and you see like you see like the the pieces of paper down the bottom here, like those aren't real pieces of paper and debris. Like that's just that's like textured. That looks so flat. That looks very flat. Which is fine. I'm just saying like that a lot of this stuff is probably textured. Like this wall, this probably isn't real either. Like this these pieces of paper, that's probably all texturing. This on the left side, whatever this is, looks like a window maybe. That's real. This is real. That's probably textured too. This is also probably textured right here. This this uh heat this heating grate right here. That's probably textured. So that's pretty much it. On, on that on on that on, on that portion of it like there's so many there's so much stuff in here that looks real but i can i can assure you it's not real so for all those naysayers you know you have the twitter video and you have this video and you have my breakdown this is a game it is not it is not real life it looks very good very very good there are even some pieces of detail if you go on if you go on the video and you look when he walks up the stairs the wood the wooden railing that goes up has nooks in it, nicks and, and stuff like that in it. So it's just looks so real. It makes the environment feel and look so real. The darkness, the the the, the lighting is is absolutely phenomenal. The the lighting in like almost every single room, the way that the light comes through comes through the windows, comes through the ceilings, it looks real. The the dark areas, the dark parts, that looks so real. That's crazy on how real on how realistic it looks. That's actually insane. I, I was I'm completely surprised at, at at how real it looks, and the lighting is coming from the right angles, the perfect angles. So it look that's also what it's the it's the the reason why it looks so real too. It's just just to sum it up, the body cam, it's harder to see things. The lighting is really good, the animations are very very well done, the running I mean the running animations are very well done, especially for your character. Uh, you know, you're not like, it doesn't feel like, you know, you're, it's just doing this. Like, it feels like you're actually, like, they must have done some mocap shit for that. Like, some really good mocap stuff that probably, like, maybe has a variation to it that maybe feels different. But I don't know about that. 
and the textures look really real. The textures, the, the way that the light hits the different the different te- textures looks really good. Like it hits metal, it's reflective. It hits the the wood, it's a little bit reflective based on the how on like what wood it is. Like there's there's a there's a wooden box that looks like it's like pine or something. That is a very shiny wood, and it and it like it literally reflects. Like the flashlight on the gun reflects that, which is insane. So. There, there is a lot in this trailer to break down, and I pretty much broke all, 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 all of it down. And I, I'm gonna be honest, that is, that is insane. This, this game is gonna be crazy, and this game is gonna be probably one of the best games. I don't know when it's gonna release. I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna assume if this is our gameplay trailer, official early, early gameplay trailer, and it's taken him, I think, about three years or so to make this game so far, maybe two. I'm going to assume probably within 20, what's, what's the, what's the year? 2023. So it's probably going to come out maybe around 2025 or 2026, a full release. That's what I'm assuming. Um, we still won't have the day before by, by then, but my, my one point that I wanted to make here, not one point, but the one thing that I really wanted to get to get across to to everyone, it's just like, this game is going to be fun, but imagine the applications after this, this is going to bring so much more realism to to the market and especially with ai this could this this might this might even be possible with with ai this this kind of game in the next 20 or 30 years just using ai that's it um so what i'm thinking is like imagine the application for zombies imagine the application for like a like a like an aliens thing imagine the application for like a military shooter like you can actually get military shooters into this like this guy may even get a contract with the military to make like a realistic scenario you know and have like a pvp type of thing where like you know you're you're the enemy and then it's you know it's good guys versus bad guys you're doing your training and whatever else like this is very real this is this is insane you know and again if it's in vr this is going to be this this is going to be a one for the wonders 100 percent there's nothing there's no doubt in my mind that this is not going to gonna you know stroke a lot of gamers uh fancy spots for like realism you know if you want realism this is your game call of duty is not that and the applications that are, are almost infinite for for this i i just i have a feeling zombies is going to be one of the first things that are going to be made with this it may not be these guys it may not be these guys it may be somebody else but a hundred percent. This is gonna be this is gonna be the fucking thing for a, for a while, especially when it, when it comes out. Now, I don't want to hype this game up too much. So I don't want to be that guy, but I've already pretty much hyped it up a lot. I I really enjoy games like this. I really enjoy seeing like where gaming is going and where gaming is heading. Because as a game developer, as a gamer, as an avid gamer, it is going to be a fun experience to see where this is going and what applications are going to actually come to it. So. Oh yeah, by the way, if you have not if you have not um wishlisted this game on Steam already and you are enjoy and you and you enjoy this game, like if you want to play this game, go fucking wishlist it right now. Give them every bit possible to get investors and everybody on their side to make this game possible. This game got a lot of hype when the first when the first trailer released. I want to say like last year, but I mean if they've made this much progress in 1 year, this may actually even be, I might even be wrong with my prediction. This may actually be out in 2025 or, 20, or 2024. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to get anybody too hyped up, but this is definitely going to be a crazy one. And I and I literally cannot wait to see where this is. <laughs> this, this, is this is remarkable. It, it really is. Thank you for watching this full episode, episode five of this podcast. Unrecorded is going to be wild. Please subscribe. 